Travis Wingate. So, so apparently, uh, nobody cares that John Delin is having an affair with a married woman. <clears throat> John Delin does not make his thumbnails. He has a slave to do that for him. <clears throat> Her name is Kara. And I don't know if you know anything about Freudian slips. But let's go over it for you. I'll put this thumbnail back up on the screen for you in the video. <clears throat> Notice she's leaning. We all know what that means. As missionaries in the MTC, I was specifically taught to be on the edge of my seat and leaning to let the investigator know, or at least make them think, that I'm listening. And I was also specifically told, don't look and speak to a husband's wife. Focus your communication with the husband. You do not want the husband thinking that you're going to recruit the wife into polygamy. And so, we all know these certain things, even in Utah. In Utah, there's an extreme paranoia. A man cannot be with another woman alone in a car. A member of the church cannot be alone with another woman. Only in singles wards is that allowed. There is an extreme paranoia. One Saturday, or Sunday, sorry, uh, my uh, divorced neighbor I, was out mowing her lawn. Backstory, because of the insider connections I have, I knew she was receiving church assistance to pay for her residence. She was even trying to improve the property value so that she can get a higher deal for selling it. And the church was helping her. Lester, the child molester Nielsen, our bishop, was involved with that, approved by the stake president. I have that nickname for him because he told a group of us that he had exposed himself to children and he laughed about it. He thought it was hilarious that he exposed himself to children. So, thus the nickname. Yes, Mormons all. And so, yeah, she's leaning into him. And she's got John DeLynn in a goofy pose. This is what women do when they have a crush on a guy. He's looking up, he's got that smirk. And, you know, nicely, neatly combed hair and she's leaning she's in black we all know what it means when a woman wears black magic underwear <laughs> see Mormon women can't wear black underwear <laughs> thus they express it openly to the public And so, her picture is not goofy. She's leaning. She's looking all dolled up with a moderate smile. <clears throat> and here's the thing. The caption. How we sleep. Sleeps right in between them at night. 
Now, if you're ever involved in advertising or have been an aficionado of watching commercials, you'll know that they specifically lie to you to sell their product. But they use certain things to deceive that go on in the commercial while you're being entertained. Sort of like drug commercials, for example. They want you to buy their drug and use their drug, so they'll tell you to consult your physician. But, while you're watching people having a great party time, in the, the bottom, or in the background, voiceover, they warn that it may cause death. <laughs> so here they are, saying, hey, you have a problem? You want to live like these people with your family and loved ones, doing all these fun activities? Take our drug and die. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. There's even a psychologist one. He's trying to sell drugs or psychological therapy or some crap. And it's a, a young man, single, living with his parents as he's sitting on a couch between his two parents both of whom are psychologists and he the young man is saying all the brainwashed code words that his parents taught him uh oh so yeah how we sleep at night She's leaning, wearing black. He's wearing white because he's innocent and pure with just little strands of black so that it color coordinates with her all black. <laughs> and if you're thinking that this is obscene and absurd, did you listen to the video? In the first three minutes and 15 seconds, I was barfing up a lung. <laughs> oh, John, you're so good. Oh, John, you're so smart. And she was touching. I mean, they had their head showing, but you can tell that her arm through the shoulder part was reaching over to touch him. She's married. She even made sure that we all were distracted. Oh, 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 oh. It was disgusting. It's like watching two teenage kids finding out about each other for the first time and be all mushy and googly. It was disgusting. You see, and the thing is, is John will let her do it. He knows how to groom, and he was witnessing his success with his co-worker, his little sex slave, sex dwarf, isn't it nice, luring disco dollies to a life of ice. Anybody remember that song? And that's not even the subject of this video. Because there is another deeper, darker secret than John's sex life. <clears throat> the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Has anybody even paid attention to look back on Nelson's presidency? Tomorrow is his birthday. I've got a special video planned. So I won't cover that part. <laughs> uh, get off my screen. <sighs> but let me read this for you. Therefore, he took Moses out of their midst and the holy priesthood also. Remember, Nelson took away the high priest group. 
It's gone. It's not coming back anytime soon. <clears throat> so much for the restoration of all things. And if I were to tell you that President Nelson has announced that he has taken away the whole Melchizedek priesthood, or if this conference he announces, hey, we're doing away with the priesthood altogether, you guys are wicked. What would Mormons do? We thank the O God for a prophet to guide us in these latter days. Now, that's exactly what Mormons would do. They would get mad at me, <laughs> as you are right now, if you're even bothering to still listen. Listen, excuse me. <clears throat> and they would say that Nelson's inspired by God, and if God wants to take away the priesthood, he will do that. <laughs> Never mind that all the prophecies and restorations necessary. <laughs> and so, I <laughs> have you understand the ramifications of that? No temples. Oh no, no more loyalty oaths with death penalties still in remembrance? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, this is something that is, is horrifying me, and I'm even more horrified that nobody else sees it. I have found one Mormon who did a mashup of Nelson's changes that he had made before coronavirus. And, and uh, it was an impressive collection because he, he was paying attention, <laughs> but he wasn't getting a clue. Because what happened in 2020? Prophecy fulfilled. What prophecy, Travis? Dear God, don't you listen! Oh, right, I've been silenced on YouTube. You aren't listening. There is nobody here I'm talking to myself, except for the one guy who gave me encouragement that maybe one day YouTube will relent and I'll save one soul from the Mormon Church. <laughs> Doctrine and Covenants, section 45, verse 31. And there shall be men standing in that generation that shall not pass until they shall see an overflowing scourge, for a desolating sickness shall cover the land. This is the latter days. This isn't, you know, World War II or the plague of uh, 1918 to 1919. You know that ours is going to go on forever because nobody's even bothering to try to stop it. If you think that you're going to get this under control by ignoring it and hoping it goes away, oops, it's a virus. Doesn't do that. If your house catches on fire, you can't just ignore it and hope it goes away. The fire is going to burn your house down. And it will burn it down really quick if you do not immediately respond. Calling 911, getting the fire department over there, and hopefully they'll respond. Nobody was as fast as my fire department up in uh, Canada, where our fastest time was reported nationwide in Canada of under two minutes response time. Yeah, nobody beats that here in the United States. I even heard once about uh, the quick response being reported by a fire department and it was about five minutes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you've got to act fast with a fire. Likewise with a virus. You've got to act immediate. Immediately. You cannot just dismiss it as insignificant. And that's another thing that you guys have not been looking back on the previous administrations for years 
to see what he was up to during that whole time, putting all those pieces together in connection with the church. Uh-huh. And so, yes, the prophecy in Scripture, Mormons, tells you, stay home to stay safe from this pandemic that's coming. Did you listen to the prophets? Oh, if I lived in Joseph's day, I wouldn't have persecuted him. I would have been obedient. <laughs> Whatever. And so this is, you know, obviously I'm not doing the retrospect. I did that for coronavirus, for Nelson. <clears throat> did a little ensemble for you. And nobody cared. It was all quotes from Nelson. Uh, should we see how well it's doing in the uh, realm of thumbs downs. I know the Bednar one that he wanted to kill you. That one's still doing well for thumbs down. <laughs> well, still only 14 views in 9 hours. See, I noticed my audience rushes in the evening hours. So it's slow going. You'll get a few in the early morning before people go to work. I wonder what Travis is up to today. Because <laughs> I believe everything he says and so I have to watch him so that I can then put a thumbs down. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a while back, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, a little Will an LDS prophet and rob God? Yes. Yeah, way back here. My goodness, how far back do we need to go? <laughs> Speaking of the asterisk 45, <laughs> he's still following me. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, healing fraud? Hmm. That's an awful long video. Maniac, maniac, revisiting. Wow, it's over a hundred. That's cool. The excommunication of James J. Hamula, is it? Yeah, James J. Hamula. And there's the one that they banned the thumbnail for. How dare you! This is sexually inappropriate! Excuse me? <laughs> women are not sexually inappropriate. Shame on you for shaming women. Maybe there's no hope for Mormons. Maniac. Maniac. Nobody liked the baby. This is going to take too long to find. 80. <laughs> you guys are not appreciating my videos. Spreading lies about Joseph Smith. Still. Nobody cared. <laughs> she was awesome in her performance. <laughs> but the invitations are already out. <laughs> what do I say to my fiance? What do I say to my parents? I don't see that guy anymore. <laughs> There's the time with Desnad. <laughs> 73. 
126. <laughs> oh, you guys are so easily triggered. <laughs> I'm having too much fun here. Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it right away. Uh, so, oh well. I'm not going to keep searching if I have to search forever. We're at 20 minutes. We'll end. But yes, pay attention to the past. I am. I have specifically been collecting everything this whole time because I knew we're in the latter days and that this was going to be historic for centuries to come. And just, just unbelievable. You know? Oh, you're shutting down the Salt Lake Temple until 2024, are you? Oh, coronavirus. Oh, keeping everybody away from downtown. Yeah, isn't that great? So yeah, they, Nelson has you going to church, but is keeping you away still from conference at the conference center. Huh, wonder what that's all about. I mean, the virus has been cured by the power of Jesus. Gratitude and those fasts and prayer and going to church. <laughs> Why are they not allowing you back into conference? Can't they just ask to see your vaccination card? <laughs> which is no longer worthless and which is no longer helping because because <laughs> of moo oh god and it's sickening because even the liberal media when it comes out the liberal media was all about how horrible Trump is for having these rallies and then eventually telling us that hey it's going to go away for the summer opens up businesses early and then tells us hey we can cure it by injecting ourselves with disinfectants but nope none of that worked as well as Fox News saying hey guys take these horse pills for deworming <laughs> and now all of a sudden people are like oh Oh, I trust Fox News as my medical advisor. <laughs> oh my God, the dumbness of people. You are literally offering yourselves up on the altar of slaughter. Agenda 21. You all knew of the conspiracy, because that was a real event. The UN, 1992. Yeah, we're going to exterminate humans. We'll allow each country to determine how many humans to destroy. <laughs> oh my god. And so here we are. Every country in the world has determined how many humans they're willing to destroy. With this pandemic. That came from the Agenda 21. Lots of books on it. Only one documentary. No actual sci-fi movies. Very disappointed. I mean, Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Statham, come on, somebody. Maybe Denzel. Why not? He does everything. I, nobody. You know, we had, you know, Demolition Man, Sandra Bullock, while you were sleeping, leaning. But, uh... Nothing specifically discussing Agenda 21. <sighs> I think I'm over. I mean, this is it. I, I'm at a loss. So, yeah, I don't have 
hymns do I? I'll think of them, put them at the beginning in text, I guess.